you're not here, you missing out. This this show. Welcome to the We Love Wrestling Spot. My name is Terry. I'm with Danielle from the Pretty Heels, and today we are with a one person from a female-led podcast. You know, they talk about wrestling. They sit back with wine. They talk about wine. If you like to take a drink, this is where you want to go and listen to. If you want to just sit back and have a good, relaxing time, how are you doing today? How are you doing today, ma'am? I am good. How are you? I'm good. Um, can you let them know your name? I don't even know your name. I just know you're the wrestling wine down. Yes. So I am Lo. I am one of the co-founders and host of Wrestling Wine Down. Co-founder. Now, why did you? St- oh well. Let me get to my first question that I always ask everybody before we go there. Um, why do you love wrestling or what started your love for wrestling? I started watching wrestling maybe like 10, 15 years ago. I was over my grandma's house and I remember flipping through the channels and I came across Monday Night Raw on a Sunday. So like a rerun and it was on the Spanish channel and I don't speak Spanish, but I watched the whole thing. And I was very curious because I had never seen anything like that before. And I just kept on going back every week and watching it. And I was younger, so I didn't know what channel it came on or whatever. And then finally I figured out, oh, it comes on, you know, USA Network. So I started watching it um, when it aired and stuff. But I was probably like nine or 10. And, you know, I felt like wrestling wasn't something that you know, usually young girls like, you think of like young boys liking professional wrestling. So when I had started an interest in it, I was very nervous, you know, to let my family know that I liked wrestling, like it was something bad. And I remember telling my mom one day, because I was like, I have something to tell you. And she was like, what is it? I was like, I like wrestling. And she was like, why are you, why, why are you acting like that? It's fine. Mm -hmm. And then I remember my older cousin, DeAndre, he actually liked wrestling when he was younger, and he still does, and he's in his 30s now. So I've had the opportunity to really build a bond with him over professional wrestling and go to different events for WWE and AEW and meet some of his friends that also like professional wrestling. Great, great, great. Um, outside of WWE and AEW, since it's a wrestling wind down, do you go to any other events or cover any other shows? Um, we've had one wrestler on from FSW. So FSW is Future Stars of Wrestling. It's a um, Vegas-based wrestling school. We had um, Demon. He is from, um, we actually went to college with him. And we had him on. He had just started wrestling training. And he's getting right back into it now that everything is kind of starting to reopen safely. Um, But I kind of started diving into other wrestling companies. I was watching Impact for a while there and then kind of fell off. And now with everything happening with, you know, them signing former WWE wrestlers, that's really caught my interest. And I'm trying to get into New Japan Pro Wrestling and ROH, but I definitely need to learn everything first. I'm very much an observer, you know, wanting to see who's involved in it and what, you know, what's going on storyline wise. So I feel like it might take some time to get, used to watching other forms of wrestling. I understand that all forms of wrestling are great. However you go about it and mix it into it, that's a good thing for it. Now, I do want to ask, I, I see the name Wrestling Wind Down. What made you start? Uh, are you a podcast? Or I know you're a female podcast, but what made you start a Wrestling Wind Down podcast about wrestling and why? So my co-host and co-founder, Haley, so we went to college together and one day she tweeted about she was watching wrestling and I didn't know that she even watched it. Like we were close, but we weren't that close. And then I saw that and I was like, you watch wrestling? And she was like, yeah. And then a couple months later, we started working at the same place and we were kind of like, oh, we listen to podcasts. What if we started our own? And we were trying to figure out what we could do to differentiate and stand out. Obviously, you know, a lot of wrestling podcasters are men and, you know, there aren't a lot of female wrestling podcasts out there. And when we started figuring out that we wanted to do a wrestling podcast, we started diving deeper and seeing, you know, what females are doing this. And there weren't a lot. And we knew that we wanted to have a niche, you know, something different from what everyone else is offering. So 
at first we were trying to figure out, oh, maybe we should do beer. And I'm not a beer drinker. And my friend is. So I'm like, oh, it really won't work out. So and I was like, what if we did wine? And then I came up with the name Wrestling Wine Down, kind of a play on SmackDown, except with wine. And the concept <laughs> was really to be, you know, after, you know, a long week of going to work, going to school, whatever you do in your life, you sit down, you wind down, and you have a glass of wine, and you see what you missed for the week in professional wrestling, and then you catch up on your news, your rumors that you might have during the week. So we brainstormed that for a couple months, and we came up with the concept in November of 2018, 20, 2018, yeah, 2018, and then we started marketing everything, making our social media, taking pr promotional pictures, getting our logo made, and then the show launched in April of 2019. So we've been around over a year now, and we're very excited. I mean, there's been a lot of opportunities that have come to us, and we've been able to collaborate with some really great people in the wrestling community. 2018. So that means you just went over your year. Did you do anything special for your, for your year episode? We didn't. Since we were in quarantine, we couldn't even record together. So we waited it out. We did an episode... We were off for probably like two months, two or three months. And then we did an episode in May. Um, but we haven't really done anything like big and spectacular because, you know, we thought that Double or Nothing was going to be here and we were going to plan something in person for people that were flying out from all over the place and do kind of like a wind down event. And then everything got canceled. The whole world turned upside down. So that got canned. Terry's a little upset because, he, we, like I said, we went double or nothing last year, and he was super looking forward to going this year. I know, yeah. It's just crazy, and, you know, I felt like AEW was very adamant about having the event still, but the way Vegas is set up, like, there's absolutely no way. And StarCast wasn't coming back. StarCast has pretty much said they're not doing another event, event out in Vegas, so who knows the tea there, but mm -hmm. I don't know. I know I was um I was like, you know what? If they still have it in Vegas, I'm going. Everything else got canceled. I I'm just going. Mm -hmm. I don't even care cuz I was going to bring home another chair cuz I'm a chair collector, but Oh yeah. <laughs> but uh I was going to do the refund, but we still mm -hmm. have our tickets for next year. Everybody was like, well, if they have it in 2021, we'll go. So mm -hmm. We'll see. Hopefully, we. Uh, I feel like it'll happen in twenty twenty one. I hope so, um, but it's a wind down. I'm a wind down and kick it over to Danielle, um, so she can ask her questions. Um, Danielle, do you want to go ahead? So, I mean, you you kind of touched on uh, when you started, uh, and that because that was what I was leaning towards. Um, I want to know more about. I mean, I know how you said you you put it into like the end of the you know winding down the end of the week and then kind of having a glass of wine. Is it, is there any, along with your own wrestling knowledge and catching up on what, you know, occurred during the week, do you incorporate mm -hmm. maybe any like wine education or like, do you like have like a wine of the week or, or a favorite brand or a favorite uh, type Do you discuss along with talking about and catching up on wrestling? Yeah. So we'll throw like a little bit of wine in there every once in a while, but Wine of the week is something that we've definitely been trying to research a little bit more just because, you know, I feel like our show, while it kind of is geared towards like 21 and up, almost with the wine reference, we also want to be inclusive of maybe someone who's 18 or 19 that's listening that might not have that, you know, not might not be able to have a glass of wine. But um, I'm a fan of Stella Rosa. I love Stella Rosa. I've been trying to get them to give us a sponsorship. Mm. But, you know... They have the best wine. And the Stella Rose Star of the Week. They yeah, might go for I that. know. Yes, that would be great. <laughs> I'm tagging them on everything. I'm like, hello, we're right here. But it seems like they're not they're not catching it yet, but I'm gonna keep on trying. But um we like wine and we want our listeners to like the wine as well. But when we first started, the thing that we were really thinking about was the wrestling will get the men in, right? Because men love wrestling. They know everything. They know every superstar. They know the moves and the wine is what was going to bring the women in. But interestingly, it seems like the wrestling has brought more women in, which 
I mean, I, it's a learning experience every day. We learn stuff every time we post, every time we interact with people. So I think it's definitely like a moving and fluid situation of having a podcast. And we're definitely planning on incorporating some more wine education or wine of the week sometime soon. I mean, I just think that would be cool. Uh, one thing that we've learned doing these spotlights, we've um, spotlighted quite a few podcasts. Um, and believe it or not, there are quite a few women podcasts. Mm -hmm. um, which I think is, this, you know, honestly, I think this is really a movement that started in the past year and a half, two years. So, you know, five, six years ago, this was unheard of. Um, so I'm right. always empower, you know, women to keep going and keep doing it so that we can, you know, connect with each other. Um, but I think your podcast is unique because you incorporate that one. So it is, you know, wrestling. So we know that's absolutely centered to males, right? But it's wine. Mm -hmm. so, that's wine. And so I just, I wanted to know more about that. Um, and I guess my last question to wrap my uh, session up would be, what do you foresee as, as um, the future for Wrestling Wind Down? Like, do you have any things coming down the pipeline that you're willing to share? Or do you have any, any kind of like um, vision that you're willing to share that Wrestling Wind Down will grow into or anything for the near future? And let's set Corona aside, because we know that that's the world <laughs> right now is certain, you know, for the most part. So I usually ask that question, but, you know, set Corona aside and say, if the world was, you know, what it was nine months ago, um, you know, what are your aspirations for Wrestling Wind Down's future? So right now for Wrestling Wind Down, what we've been doing is um, my co-host and co-founder Haley has kind of stepped aside and started doing more of our visual work and our social media while I, um, co while I host the show. And we've been bringing in a lot of very talented podcasters, wrestling creators, wrestling fans who have spoken either as a guest co-host or even we've done a lot of interviews. And um, I really want to continue that. I feel like I've met and connected with so many individuals during this year and a half, two years almost, where I have that relationship and I want them to come on our show. You know, I've seen so many of these people that, have done so much for the wrestling community, whether it be a podcast or they're doing wrestling fashion or, you know, they're having this movement for women. And I want to be able to spotlight that on our platform. Um, I'm really excited for our August lineup. We have a lot of incredible people that are joining us, whether they're in Vegas or they're outside of Vegas and they're, you know, whether they're a fan or a podcaster or a writer, anything like that. So I'm really looking forward to that. In terms of the future, um, I really, like I said, I really want that Stella Rose sponsorship deal, but just continue creating the content that we're, we're, that we're creating and hearing from our listeners. I feel like that is the number one most important thing is hearing back from the listeners and seeing, you know, what they like or what they like incorporated. So, you know, whenever I'm asking, oh, you know, who should we have on the show next? I make sure that I extend that to wrestling fans because and our followers because they might know someone that we're not aware of that you know can add to our show or who has a story that we should spotlight so hopefully we keep this momentum rolling that we have and we continue building our audience and reaching out to fans whether it's male or female and having them listen to our show that's exciting i, I will tell you from the pretty hills perspective um I'm definitely, uh, I'm, I don't know if I'm following you on Twitter, but I, I will and Instagram and I'm going to um, be able, like, if you come up with the hashtag, let's come up with a hashtag or something and let's try to get you that sponsorship because I'm all, I'm all about it. I really, I, I like that this is a niche, right? It's different than the ordinary mm -hmm. podcast and I think incorporating that, you know, that wine concept um, would be great. Also, I think you, right. you've heard that the Bellas, they have, they've like, they had a whole event around wine and everything. So you may even catch their attention, you know, so I mean, right, yeah. and Carmela too. Car Carmela has the Cabo Cana wine. Oh, okay. So look at that. Let's try to get them on the show. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually, love to hear oh, it's, it's pretty one good. Thing, Go one thing that I like is on my wrestling list. Like this is my bucket list for our show. I want Renee Young on, like I have mentioned this, on our podcast, I've mentioned it on other podcasts. I had the opportunity to meet Renee Young maybe like a year ago in a wrestling podcasting class because she lives out here and the professor knows her. Had her come in and this, actually I think it was, yeah, it was a year ago because we hadn't even started Wrestling Wine Down yet. And I was like, we're having our own podcast, it's about wrestling. I was so nervous and 
ever since then, I'm like, I need her on my show because she loves wine too. She has podcasting experience and she was the first female commentator in WWE. So it just, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's get those hashtags going. Let's, let's tweet her. Yes. We've been adding people. So I'm going to, um, when I do your thank you little uh, Instagram thing, I'm going to at her. And you never know, she may like it. She may retweet it. I mean, that may be an opening to talk to her. Right. You know, I, I would definitely, I'm big on shooting your shot. So if you can, I would even, you know, slide in her DM and say, hey, th that class that, I, you know, I take a class in, in Nevada and you came and was a guest speaker. And I really, what you said to me, I don't know, just really like, you know, yeah, milk her and <laughs> tell her, you know, <laughs> how much of an inspiration you are and try to get her. I'm all about it. So you hashtag it, I'll retweet it. That's a guarantee deal mm -hmm. terry i'm kicking it back over to you kicking it back to me <laughs> um renee young if you see this they told you what was gonna happen so it was out there beforehand <laughs> um <laughs> got no issue with me i'm gonna give uh the wrestling wine down one free idea because you know as she was talking i was just thinking about it do y'all do like um a wrestler of the week or anything no we don't you should do like since it's the wrestling wine now <laughs> like the wine cooler of the week so it's like the wrestler uh or like a cool match something involving like the wine names to like bring it all in like wine cooler of the week you can spot like um maybe a wine cooler and then like a top match or a top wrestler from that week yeah. it'd be pretty cool to to put all those ideas together just hit, like hearing wrestling wine down there's so many different things you can incorporate and you want the Stella Rose sponsorship. It's other wines and other companies out there that might sponsor you and then Stella Rose be like, oh, we need to go get them. <laughs> so, you know. I like um, the way you think. <laughs> I'm just saying. It, this is why wine, we keep them around. Wrestling <laughs> wine now. It's a, it's a lot of wine companies out there that would be very happy and very quick to throw out to you if you want to use our wine with your your podcast, go ahead. And it's just a little sponsorship, like, boom, we're mentioning your wine. We're doing this. People hear about it. Mm -hmm. May cost them some business. Just a little marketing, but only one free one. That's it. Thank um, you. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Um, Next one, he's going to charge you. <laughs> I'm not going to charge. We're just not going to mention it on, on, this, on this going out to the people. Um, <laughs> People do take ideas, but hey, that's neither here nor there. Uh, but before we go, I might have to go get a glass of wine tonight. I don't usually do that, but I'm thinking about wine because it is the end of the week. And this, I'm going to put on the wrestling wine down, which you should too. But for people to be able to put on the wrestling wine down, where can they find you at on social media? Yes, so we are on Twitter and Instagram at WWDCAST. Our podcast is available on Apple, Spotify, Google Play. Stitcher, um, iHeartRadio, pretty much wherever you stream your podcast, we're at. It, basically everywhere. So yeah, if you put in wrestling wine down, they'll come up. Listen to it. Subscribe to them on anything that you do. But it's that time again because I'm Terry. I'm with Danielle from the Pretty Hills. We thank the wrestling wine down for joining <laughs> us. <laughs> I didn't even realize you had one this whole time. I, I, I made sure before I came in the room, I did that <laughs> in my champagne glass. <laughs> like, you know, like I always say, if I love wrestling and you love wrestling, then we love wrestling. It's too sweet for the culture.